So you have an Apple Watch and your BPM or beats per minute or heart rate is not working. I'm going to give you guys a couple solutions to get you up and running right now, okay? So the first thing that's very, very, very uh, important that I want to mention is I used to have my, my watch on like this and then it'd be all the way right at my wrist right here and this would be pretty snug, okay? It, was, it wasn't super tight. It was a little bit tight and I always had issues. Every time I'd be running and I would flip it up like this and the heart rate would always just be reading. I would never get a reading, okay? Maybe like one time out of like every like six or seven or eight times I go like this, it's finally reading. Most of the time is just like pulsing, like trying to get a read, okay? What you have to do is this. First of all, you have to move it up above your wrist about like one inch like that. And you want to make sure that there's a little bit of room down here, okay? Now, I didn't like, for six months, I had always had issues with my, my um, uh, beats per minute until I got like a Fitbit and then I realized with the Fitbit I had the same issue but in the directions it said I had to move it up like one inch and make it like a little bit loose. So that's what I did with my Apple Watch and all of a sudden now every time I flip it over I get a, um, you can see my bits, uh, beats per minute, okay? Now if you guys do this and you still have an issue then what I want you to do is I just want you to go ahead and force restart your Apple Watch. And how you do that is you have to press and hold two keys. You have to press and hold the crown button and the side button here. You want to press and hold and wait till you see the Apple logo, okay? So we'll go ahead and do this together, okay? So crown button and the side button. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. I'm holding on both buttons here. I'm still holding on. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen. I'm still holding on. Just wait till the Apple logo appears and go ahead and let go. And now it's going to go ahead and boot back up normally and then go ahead and check your uh, heart rate or your beats per minute. Hopefully it's up and running. Remember, you got to move it up like an inch above the wrist and make it like a little, little bit loose. Very, very important. Okay, good luck.